G'day guys, how you going? So today is just a quick vlog, uh, doing a bit of work on the bike. Um, turned the key on yesterday and the lamp light came on on the dash to tell me that this um, low beam head bulb had blown. So that's a, a pretty straightforward swap out and fix, or at least it should be. But I unclipped the little retainer for the bulb and there's a little cracking noise and there's a little ret plastic retainer on the bulb uh, right here that holds this in place and that has snapped off so I probably can't see very well but right in under there you can see where the bulbs come out of and that's where I've got to try and replace the retainer so it's a bit awkward so what I'm going to do is I can actually if you have a look here there's a torque screw here and there's a matching one on the other side here um, so I can take those two screws out and then up under the dash here there's about three plugs that need to come out and then I can slide this whole headlight arrangement out forwards and gain much better access to the back so that's what we're going to do um, so yeah and hope Hopefully that's a nice easy fix. Uh, there's a bit of a there's a bit of a um, a hack that I found online to replace the the clip retainer. So we'll go through that and hopefully that works. So let's see how we go. Okay, so that wasn't so bad to get the light unit and the um, the instrument cluster out. Um, basically, there's three plugs. There's the main plug here. Um, there's another one underneath and then I just had to pull out like the little park light plug as well and then this whole thing just kind of lifts up comes out the front like that and we'll come and have a look at that in a second and I'll show you what's left so this was the light the parking light basically just plugs in the back like this and then there's this plug here uh, which has a little metal clip you pull the pull the clip off and the plug comes straight out um, and the whole process was really only slightly complicated because I had my little GPS sensor mounted on here um, for the dash cam but that's that's all good that's all worked fine so that was the two screws, one on either side, and um, yeah, look all in all, I would say that was a pretty easy way to get it out. So let's just have a look and see what we've got. Okay, so the problem is, this little clip, this little clip here is supposed to lock in to a little plastic bracket there and then when you push it down um, it locks in like this but you can see the little plastic bracket on the other side is broken so that's what we're going to replace today all right so what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this little piece of a paper clip and basically I'm going to put that under there like that I'm going to cut it off and bend these ends over and they should hold, um, they should work as a retainer for that little spring clip. And if that doesn't work, I have a plan B which will involve a Coke can. But we'll see how we go. Right Okay, guys, so we're going to start with this little clip, and um, basically, I'm going to cut it off about here somewhere. Get it in focus. Cut it off about here somewhere, and then I'm going to bend these at 90 degrees, and then um, hopefully they'll work as a retainer. So we'll just uh, see how we go. Okay. So hopefully I can just bend all this into an appropriate kind of a shape, and it'll be a pretty quick and easy fix. Because it turns out that the headlights on these beamers um, so that it seems to be a pretty common thing that they uh, they go it seems to happen pretty regularly 
uh, since I've had the bike this will be the well, this will be the second or third bulb I think I've, I've replaced so yeah it's obviously a thing That's the aim there. Might even need to bend that a little bit more than that. Bend that a little bit higher. Let's drop it down. Trial and error. It'll either work or it won't, you know. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. The official BMW fix for this is a new headlight um, fitting, which is like five or six hundred bucks. So those of you who know me will know that I am not spending five or six hundred bucks to buy what will be in the long run an equally faulty part. You know, they haven't changed them, they haven't fixed the design. So at some point if I keep the bike, which you know I have every intention of doing, um, the same thing will happen again. All right, let's just give that a little file off. That's just to save my fingers the next time I'm reaching down in there in the dark, fumbling around trying to fix it. That will clip over there like that. The screw will go through here and hold that in place. I might need to fold that down a little bit more and that, that will be a, a long term fix. Bend those together, close those off a bit. This is trial and error. Sit that in there. So you can see that's clipped on but it's not ideal. Um, I want it to be a bit better than that so I'm going to make some more modifications. Just pull it off. I'll have another crack at it. I'll bend that a little bit more. We hit it with the hammer again. Close that up a bit with the hammer. Fold that one up a bit, down a bit. With this small delicate piece of equipment. That looks better. Shorten those a little bit more again. Defeats the purpose of having filed them. Let's give that another go. And I suspect I'll have to do this for the high beam circuit at some point as well. Um, probably better to do it preemptively. Perhaps for the high beam circuit, I'll try the Coke can method so I can compare the two, see which one of the poor man's fixes I prefer. Okay, so that just now rotates um, and it'll just clip in there as per its design. It's captured in there. How well can you see that? Well enough, I'm going to guess. So I think that's a win. I'll, um, I'll put all that back together and uh, see how we go good. I love it when a plan comes together. Now I found this bulb in the shed. I don't even know if it works but it has continuity so I'm going to assume that it does. And it should go that way there. And there you go that's that's with the bulb in and housed. So now that's nice and, and tight. Because before well, this is flopping around, you know, the bulb just, just sits in there and it wobbles around and it's not pointing in any bloody direction it's supposed to be. So it's pretty much useless. And then, look at that, back together. So we'll get this back in the bike. Maneuver that back in there. Yeah, this little metal clip is going to give me some curry. Okay, so that goes in under there. It's going to be tough because I can't see it. 
is so irritating. They have tiny little hands. Everything's done by feel, and I can't feel very much. I think that's in the right spot. I think this goes on this way. What sort of a plug retaining idea is that? And I can't even see where that goes now. As always, the chickens are underfoot. I mean helping. Helpful little buggers that they are. Let's move that one out of the way. And see how on earth am I going to get this clip on there, in there. That is locked in. And that one is in. And that sits on a little pin there. And this one just plugs straight in. And then basically that was a noddle. Alright. And then it's just these two screws. Which are going to go in either side. Okay. I'm liking this a lot. They are both open up. Let's see if we get the dreaded lamp F light. Thumbs up, that's a win, that's great. So that was in fact just an old lamp that I had lying around. I did wonder if it was the one that had come out of the bike originally, but obviously not. Um, so I don't know what it's come out of, but it's working a treat. Alright guys, so that's my 10 cent fix instead of replacing a five or six hundred dollar part from BMW. Um, I think the idea came off one of the BMW forums on the internet and just did a bit of searching and there were a couple of good solutions, that was one of them uh, and I think I'll try the other one on the other side shortly. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down the bottom there and uh, you know if you like the video then hit the like button. Um, this is Makes, Breaks and Retakes. I'll see you next time.